What's up guys, this is Kobe here. Uh, welcome to a legitimate YouTube video. I haven't made one of these in a while. Um, this video should be uploaded after my Lotus and Damien solos with the uh, temp stats that were given to us. So my damage was very inflated. It was super nice to mess with, but those are going to be going away soon, which is really unfortunate. But hey, at least I had a good time using them. My six months for Naver is coming up. So I'll be making like an equip video progression with, you know, stuff like that coming soon. But that's not the point of today's video. In today's video, I'm going to be buying out the glory shop. Now, as you can see through this image here, I have a, a ton of coins. Um, and most of the items are usually bound to like, you know, one per world. And I capped on two different worlds because in the burning world, I could transfer all the items over to Luna. So I get double the items. And that's exactly what we did. Now, before I go ahead and start buying items, though, let me show you what I've already bought. Um, let's go ahead and start off here. We've already bought out Red Flames, Epic Scrolls. We bought the Tenebrous Ring. We bought the Scrolls. We cubed it. We currently have it at 15% Strength Unique and 10%, um, uh, not 10%, but 10 Attack as the bonus potential. Um, so, we don't need to worry about that. We bought these. These serve me nothing. Um... I got a selector damage skin box, which I chose the Kadena damage skin from. I bought the EXP node stones, five of them. I'm going to save them for the will node once I reach Aspera. I think I'll be at Aspera in like two to three days from now. It'll be very, very soon because I do plan on using a Typhoon from 234 to 235. Even with the EXP reduction, I don't really care. But considering I am 34%, I might as well just go ahead and level up to 234 and then pop one for 235. Um... We did buy some of these, but of course these do reset. Um, I'm actually going to buy the symbols because these will be resetting here at reset. Just to buy another five boxes for symbols. Um, you bought out this cube box here. So basically what this is, is that every week you open it and you get seven Meister cubes that only work on untradable equipment. It does work on untradable equipment that can be P-socked, just to let you know. Um... I think I opened it like three times. I'm going to open it my fourth time here after I get my weapon to unique because they are going to be having a cube sale in the next patch. There will be unique pot scrolls. People are going to put those in the auction house in Meso, and I just need to get enough Meso to be able to purchase them. So I should have enough money to get a U pot. I'm, I'm going to wait till they do go down first before I buy one though, and I'm going to see um, how well that goes for my weapon. Um, I bought the 10 red cubes, I bought these cubes, the 30 bonus additional potential cubes. These served me absolutely nothing, they were all horrible. Nothing rolled 10 attack with that. Uh, I bought this damage skin, I used it for a little bit, it was like, eh, you know, it's nice, but like, it doesn't really fit my style. And I'm not really a big fan of these other damage skins, so it is what it is. Um, for this rank, I bought the 15 star scroll on my phantom on the sale day, I bought the pet scrolls on my fire poison on the sale day. I bought some of the Havoc set. As you can see, this character has the overall. My Ho Young has the horns and the overall, and my Ark has the horns and the wings. Um, so that's basically it. No weapon, no weapons is too expensive. It's not even that good. Plus, it gives no stats. I, you know, I like my stats on my weapons because, you know, I play, play Cadence. Um, and then the last rank about the U Pot on sale day, or not on sale day because there was no sale day, but I bought the U Pot. And then I bought 10 black cubes on rank up day. That's what I meant to say. Um, and that's basically it. So for this character, currently we have a budget of 4,600 coins. Um, what I did plan to do with that is that I plan to buy out these clean slates. You can only buy 10 of them, which is kind of a little iffy. Um, I'm going to have to stop the recording a little bit to free my slots. Okay, I think I freed up enough slots. This, sh this should be good. Um... But right now, basically what I said I was going to buy first are these clean slates because I am going to be working on new pieces of Absolab gear and I'm also going to U-Pot with the new U-Pot scrolls. So there's a lot of farming I got to do once these scrolls come out because I am making the transition to U-Potting Abso. Abso first instead of CRA because I'm getting so many Star Force scrolls that they just have more bang for their buck if I use them on Abso instead. Um, so we're going to go ahead and buy these out. And um... We also need to make sure we have enough money to even like scroll them on uh, Sunday because we have fever time every Sunday on KMS. Um, next up, we are going to buy out the symbol boxes. Just five of them. 
I guess we could open them. I mean, it doesn't hurt to open them now. Like I said, I'll be at a sphere in a few days. Um, we have the prepared spirit pendant. This cost 300 coins. You get one of them. Looks like I did my math wrong. I assume I need 4,600 coins. I think I might need a little bit more than that. We'll, we'll see how things go a little later on. Uh, but for now, we will buy this. Actually, the shop will last until September 1st. I'm going to hold out on this for like a day. Um, so I can have, you know, another day to be able to grind with it. So the shop will last for a little bit, so it won't hurt. Um, we're going to move on to the next tier. And I did want to buy these, the 100% Queen's Light Scrolls. Because these are very very important i also wanted to buy the 20 arcane symbols wherever they were right here i'm just saving getting as many arcane symbols as possible for Isfera. and as far as i'm concerned that should be about it um next thing i need to do is just i need to do some more dungeons because i do have plenty of weekly dungeons left over to get more coins just five more so i can get this and then i can get the arcane symbols whenever um they reset tomorrow uh, i just need to do the dungeon soon or else i won't be able to you know do them at all so by reset time anyway this character is done shopping let's move on to the next so my ho young he's got 3500 coins um initially i thought about capping on it just to fund the ho young itself because my ho young i i do want to level it eventually a little bit more just so it can become like a cra meal but i figured I think it's time to kind of put more benefits on my main a tad bit more. So, what, what better way to, you know, do it than to buy, buy out some flames? We'll get this box and this box. 10 rainbows, 10 reds. Now I have 26 coins left. I don't even care about capping on it anymore. <laughs> um, I don't like the fact that you can buy two of these. Like, why? I, I, don't, I don't really know. But they just let you buy two of them. But I need to buy these flames to be able to flame absolute gear. Um, once the time comes, once I get them. Uh, so, yeah. That's it for a young shop. My Kinesis was a big treasure throughout this event. I've been pretty much doing elite missions on it ever since it was like level 130-something. And now it's level 164. Uh, it's, it's gone through a lot. It's been my rank-up meal. So it has spent a ton of coins on ranking up alone. Though I figured... When I cap the last 3,000 coins on it, buy out the Typhoon Potion. Um, this will be one of three Typhoon Potions I'll be getting within a month. Uh, the second one will be the one I buy in Burning World. And the third one will be the one from the newest event that will be coming out. Uh, so let's go ahead and purchase it. I'm going to throw this in the storage along with the Meso that this character has. And I'll be moving on to my Ice Lightning Mage. Alright, Ice Lightning Mage, my last character in Luna. Um, has over 10,000 coins only for the sole purpose to buy one single item and that one item is the 17 star scroll now, This does last for 10 days after purchase. So I need Need to make sure that I use it Or that I am able to Spell trace my gear this Sunday my app so so I can actually use this efficiently I don't really have any plans for transfer hammer since I am only you potting. Um, now, one could argue that I should uh, actually I should use transfer hammer for the bonus potentials, though it's not really that hard to get ten attack. I mean, I do have ten attack items that I will transfer, but like epic potentials, like eleven attack and two percent strength as a bonus potential, is very very expensive, and I don't really want to be a part of that field yet. I'm not ready for the epic V pot. I'm going for the U pots first, because believe it or not, B pots are very expensive. Uh, so I do need to buy this, and this will not be used until this weekend after I scroll the app. So, so I only have one shot at Sunday for scrolling it, and um, that's essentially it. Anyways, that is it for Luna. So now I'll be moving on to Burning World. Okay, Battle Mage. Um, Battle Mage has 5.75k coins. Uh, basically, what this is going to be used for is I'm going to buy one bundle of additional potential cubes. Um, I'm going to need this for my Absol Cape because I do not have a 10 attack transfer for it. 10 attack transfers are relatively expensive, so I figured, why not try to cube for 10 attack on it with 30 cubes? There's a pretty good chance we get it, but last time... Um, other coins I bought, they were just a complete, you know, 
uh, other cubes I bought in Luna, they were a complete waste. But I figured we'll transfer these, we'll throw one on the cape, we'll see if it, I get some good rolls. Um, next item on this character will be the U-Pot. Um, this will be used on, once again, one of the absolute equips, uh, because I am going for Unique, and it will help me a lot for the cube sale if I can save some money by not having to buy a Unique scroll, but instead getting a 100% one for free. Um, so, good going for that. Anyways, moving on to the next character. Alright, my next character is my Kinesis job in, G in game name. So happens to be a mechanic. Uh, anyway, so the exact same thing as Battle Mage. I'm going to be buying the cubes here. And then I'm going to be getting a 15 star scroll. Which, once again, you already know what I'm going to use it on. Now, next character. Alright, now we have my blaster, uh, 3.78, so basically I'm going to buy the last bundle of cubes here on this character, so basically 10 on each of my resistance classes in burning, and then the last item will be the typhoon potion, my second typhoon potion, being able to transfer this from burning to luna uh, will be very very pleasant. We have two characters left, let's go check them out. So this is my dual blade with the amazing name of coin cap. Um, it has 4,500 coins. It did have 4,900, but I did buy the pet scrolls on the August 18th sale day. Um, now, I did use those pet scrolls on the pet equip that I will be transferring to Luna. You can see them sold out right here. Unfortunately, from the 2 to 4 attack scrolls, 2 being the lowest you can roll out of 10 scrolls, I only rolled 21 attack on my item. Uh, so, that was not very pleasant, especially when I rolled 26 on the Luna one. Even though they are 2 to 4, you have a super high chance of rolling 2. If you manage to roll 30, which seems like it would be the average, uh, you're actually very, very lucky. Um, so getting anything higher than 25 on these is, is relatively difficult. Um, anyway, so on the dual blade, I'm going to be purchasing cubes. Let me get the red cube bundle in here, and then let me get the black cube bundle, and that's it. <laughs> These cubes will, of course, be used in black cubes. I think I might use these towards the weapon once they get, once I get the weapon to unique. Uh, start off with some reds, um, and then if I roll something good, I'm probably gonna use some blacks on it. Cause I did roll a decent line on the emblem. I would show it, but you gotta wait for the equip video for that. Um, but that's how that's going to go. Uh, hopefully, we can roll something good, good enough for you know. Just need to make sure I finish this app so, and then I can drop the equal bit. Just something like that. <laughs> Hopefully by the six month mark so I can show you my six month equip check. Um, but yeah, that's that's it for that. Anyways, we onward to our last character. So this is my zero level one sixty three and hasn't even started chapter five. Um, I think the coolest thing about burning is that I'm able to transfer all of this money to Luna. Uh, all of this money has been accumulated by basically leveling new characters. They did the Korean Folktime mission. They constantly did the elite missions every day, which gave money. And I ran Ursus on my zero every day, which gives me about 10 mil a day. Speaking of, I haven't done it today yet. And today is the last day you can do it in Burning World. So I need to take advantage of that. Um, so with this character, as you can see, it has a lot of scroll. It has a lot of coins. And when I have this many coins, I only plan to buy one item. I have a lot more than just 10k. I have 11.8k. Um, so we're going to get the usual. Of course, this item, 17 star. Jump that on one of the apps. Um, so two 17 star scrolls and a 15 star scroll. They are all going to Absol equipment. Um, next up with 1.8k coins, we are going to buy this flame box. With 10 red flames for 1,000 coins. And the last 800 coins will be going towards red flames. Um, red flames are actually a lot better than some people may think. I mean, of course, rainbows are better because they can roll tier 7, and the lowest tier they can roll is tier 4. Um, while rainbows, I mean, red's high is only up to tier 6. But, funny enough, you can roll tier 6 with a red more often than you can roll tier 7 with a rainbow. So I don't really mind, you know, flaming with reds. I have seen people get over 100 stat on Apso with reds, and ever since I've seen that, I, you know, I, I don't mind flaming with reds at all. Um, so that's basically what the project is going to be. 20 reds on here. 
Um, and then I have the 10 reds and the 10 rainbows on Luna. And we are going to work with that. And that's basically it. So, there goes my coin shopping. Um, or, yeah, my, my store shopping with coins. And, of course, there are more things you could potentially get. I still need to get the last 100 coins on my Dark Knight. Um, but, you know, as far as I'm concerned, th this is all I really needed to get. Because capping at Burning World was a hustle. I spent so much time capping days I had to work and cap on multiple characters. I was not getting enough sleep and it was been a... <laughs> it's been really hell. Um, I, I noticed that the transition of playing, you know, KMS without spending any money out of your wallet has been pretty brutal. Now that summer is over, of course, I'm going back to classes. I can't really cap that often. Um, you know, that's just how some things are. But that's okay, because I don't need to, you know, worry about that anymore. We are going to have another coin capping event in the next update, but it's not going to be as severe. And I'm only going to cap on, like, two characters instead of, like, 8, 9, 10, 11, something like that. Um, so that's it. I'm very glad the glory coin capping project has come to an end, and I have completed my goals and yet a little above that, because there are some items that I did not think I'd end up buying. I did buy in this video, like these cubes and these flames. I had no idea I wanted to go for this at all. Um, but at the end of the day, I'm just very, very happy. One thing I wish I could have gone for though, but I, I just burnt out way too quick towards the end, would be 10 of these cubes. Um, now, necessarily, it's not too late to get some. Um, I can cap on this character right now if I wanted to, because we do have roughly four hours to reset. But then again, I do have two hours till class, so I can't necessarily do that. Um, I'll, I'll do as much as I can, and of course, get the last hundred coins in the Dark Knight by doing some weekly dungeons, and that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, next video will probably be the equip video. Um, I'm going to be streaming a lot more. Not a lot. I, I, I can't keep that as a promise. Uh, I'll be streaming often on Twitch working on the absolute equipment on twitch so if you want to check that out uh twitch link is in the description i've been streaming quite a bit of the free to play progression on the neighbor account uh so if that's something you want to check out go ahead um and that's it i guess i'll see you guys around